Hey, I hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you just for a minute about something that came to mind. And that is every man is not a husband and every woman is not a wife. People wonder why there are so many uh, divorces that are inundating our courts. You know, every one marriage, two is ending in divorce. There's a reason for that. One of the reasons, well, there are several reasons for that. I believe that one is because people are coming together for the things that they have in common, but not because they are compatible. There is a difference. You know, just because you grew up in the same town or knew some of the same people or visited some of the same stores or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, those are things that you have in common. But those are not necessarily things that you have compatible, that are that are compatible. You know, compatibility is having someone who not only understands you, but someone that can flow with you. Somebody don't freak out when you have a bad moment. Somebody is there for the long haul. Compatibility means that, uh, you know, it's like a hand in a glove. It does not mean that that, perf that person is perfect. But what it does mean is that they are perfect for you. They are good for you. They can help to balance you out or help to enhance your life. And not only that, you grow together those compatible, you know, things that you have that are compatible. Um, something else that, <laughs> that some, the reason why there are so many divorces is because uh, in many instances, there was not gradual disclosure. You know, some people there are the mindset that, hey, I'm just up front. I'm going to tell you all about me from ground zero. You accept that or you reject that. And a lot of times people, when they give a lot of information from the beginning, it becomes difficult, you know, when you're talking about trying to have a solid relationship because the partner or your partner did not give, did not really receive or get the opportunity to kind of digest what was happening. You know, you don't just take a food of plate and just pick your hands up and eat it all at one time. That's crazy. Well, it's the same thing when it comes to uh, trying to understand somebody's background, understand somebody's life, is that you need gradual disclosure. What the gradual disclosure does is that it gives you the opportunity to determine whether or not you want to continue to move forward or, hey, to kind of stop or put the brakes on, uh, you know, because you see that this relationship can't work. There's something else, which is um, falling in love with our heart and not with our head. You know, many instances in, in so many relationships, our emotions in many relationships, our emotions run down the road so fast. And then after a while, after our emotions run down the road, our head ultimately catches up. And when our head catches up, then we start rethinking things or we start saying, well, hey, maybe I should have slowed down. Sometimes it's good to, you know, at least date or get into other relationships and to determine uh, sometimes not only what you like, but what you don't like. You know, as people ultimately get married, they ought to get married with a concept of understanding what they prefer, what they like. And that's not just what they like emotionally, it's what they like intellectually. So often is that we, there are people who are emotionally and intellectually deprived in relationships because they got hooked up with someone that made them feel good, but didn't do anything for them intellectually. And so that's the reason why many instances people get divorced is that they get divorced because they say, hey, well, you know, it, you, we grew apart. And it wasn't the fact that you, in many instances, you grew apart. It was the fact that you didn't take the opportunity to truly think through all of the things that you were doing. Let me hit you with this finally. That's why it's important to give relationships time. Love at first sight, you know, is very rare. Now, I believe it does happen, but it's very rare. And so for most of us, it takes time. You need to get time to see that person in a different element. You need to get the opportunity or have the time to see that person under duress. You need to have the opportunity to see how that person over the long haul treats their family or not just treats their family, but treat you. Too many divorces are occurring. Here's the reason why is because we have married men who were not husbands and we've married women who were not wives. I pray this word gave you strength for the journey.